Hi everyone, Miss Melanie here from the Tillamook County Main Library. It's my turn to do a virtual story time and today I'm going to do two books that I know are story time favorites. One has to do with colors because as most of you have probably heard, summer reading this year is all about colors. And the other is just a fun book that I know you're going to love. But let's start with our color book. I know a wee piggy. Do you know a wee piggy? I bet lots of you do. What sound does a piggy make? That's right, they go That's a fun sound, isn't it? Let's find out what this wee piggy does. I know a wee piggy. The book was written by Kim Norman and Henry Cole painted all the pictures. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Hmm. But brown is not for me, he said. I think I'll add a rinse of red. Oh no. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in red. Hoof to head, he wallowed in red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy said, the red's too bright. I think I'll add a wash of white. Where did he get the white? We know who those are. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in white. It's not polite to wallow in white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy said, too pale. I think I'll add a pinch of pink. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in pink. How silly to think he needed more pink. He wallowed in pink to go with the white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Ooh, when you go to the fair, what do you sometimes get? It's one of my favorites, it's cotton candy. Pink's a bulwar, he, I heard him bellow. I need about a yard of yellow. Oh my goodness, where did he get those yellows? Yep, he's in the chicken coop and he broke a bunch of, what are these things, can you see? Yep, those are eggs. Oh no. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in yellow. Slippery fellow to wallow in yellow. He wallowed in yellow to go with the pink. He wallowed in pink to go with the white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy squealed. I won't look back until I add a blast of black. Huh, where's he getting that black? Yep. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in black. Out by a shack, he wallowed in black. He wallowed in black to go with the yellow. He wallowed in yellow to go with the pink. He wallowed in pink to go with the white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy shouted, now I've seen that I should add a glimpse of Hmm. Green. Look at all that grass he's rolling in. Oh, what a mess. I know we piggy who wallowed in green. What a scene, he'll never get clean. He wallowed in green to go with the black. He wallowed in black to go with the yellow. He wallowed in yellow to go with the pink. He wallowed in pink to go with the white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy sighed, this green's okay. But now I need a glob of gray. She's working with clay to make pots and clay is gray. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in gray, orange and gray, a brilliant display. Uh-oh. Get out of his way! He's running through the duck pond. I know a wee piggy who didn't stop there. He wallowed in purple. All over the fair. There he 
he goes. He's running with his ribbon. Can you see him? There he goes. He added the purple to go with the gray. He added the gray to go with the green. He added the green to go with the black. He added the black to go with the yellow. He added the yellow to go with the pink. He added the pink to go with the white. He added the white to go with the red. And he added the red to go with the brown because upside down he wallowed in brown. Piggy said, I'm not quite through. I won't be till I add some. Hmm. I wonder. <gasps> Blue! Is he washing off in the blue water? Yep. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in blue. He won it too. Look at that, he won the blue ribbon at the fair. Yeah. Was that fun? That was I Know a Wee Piggy. And if you wanna check it out from the library, it's by Kim Norman and you'll find it in our color bin here at the main library. Now, let's do a fun finger play that I know lots of children love. Can you find your fishies? You've got your fishies, are you ready? Little fish, little fish, swimming in the water. Little fish, little fish, chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, no! He was eaten by an octopus, an octopus, swimming in the water. Octopus, octopus, chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, no! He was eaten by a harbor seal, a harbor seal, swimming in the water. A harbor seal, a harbor seal, chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, no! He was eaten by a great white shark, a great white shark, swimming in the water. Great white shark, great white shark, chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, no! She was eaten by an enormous whale, enormous whale, swimming in the water. Enormous whale, enormous whale, chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, no! She was eaten by a tiny fish, a tiny fish swimming in the water. Tiny fish, tiny fish, ha, ha, ha. Think about that. Could an itty bitty tiny fish eat a great big whale? Is that silly? It is. It's very silly. Just like our next book, which I know some of you may know, but it's one of my favorites, and I know it's one of a lot of our story time favorites. So let's read the book with no pictures. This book was written by B.J. Novak, and nobody did the pictures because there are no pictures. Let's find out how you read a book with no pictures. This is a book with no pictures. See, no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. Probably seems boring and very serious, except here is how a book works. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say, no matter what. That's the deal. That is the rule. So that means even if the words say, Hmm. Blork. Wait. What? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf. Wait, wait a second. This isn't the kind of book I want to read. And I have to say every book, every word the book says? Really? Uh oh. I am a monkey who taught myself how to read. Hey! I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. 
that's not true. I'm not a monkey. Do I look like a monkey? Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? I've never heard of a robot monkey. And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is there blueberry pizza on my head? Oh, God. Is this book a whole trick? Can I stop reading now? No, I have to keep going. Okay. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to? Okay. Glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off of the rug. This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading? No! There are more pages? I have to keep reading? Okay. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. Uh, wow. And also, the children I am reading this book to are the best children ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this, these kids are the smartest kids because these kids chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know that this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. Uh-huh. And make silly sounds like, oh no. Here it comes. Glur, go waka waka mugum for do I, 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 brr, 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 ooey, 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 blickety, blackety, glippity, glabbity, miggly, bobby, beep, beep, ooey, 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 badungy face. Oh, my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it's completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, please, please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this book is ridiculous. It's ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. That was the book with no pictures. And if you want to find it in your library, it's by B.J. Novak. It's in the picture book section. Was that not hilarious? I thought it was. Did you laugh? Fantastic. That's the whole point. I'm so glad I got to join you for story time today. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week.